Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Nikki. Today we are going to be making a slow cooker pulled pork with a light and tangy coleslaw. This is so good, you're gonna love it. And it's so simple to make. So, here's what we need. Alrighty, so for the pulled pork, we need one tablespoon salt, one tablespoon ground black pepper, one tablespoon paprika. If I can pick this up. One tablespoon sugar. Half a tablespoon of onion powder. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder. You need a pork tenderloin. one onion chopped, two cups of apple juice, one cup of apple cider vinegar, two cups barbecue sauce. I'm using the honey barbecue just because it's my favorite. Um, two tablespoons tomato paste, one tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce, and a quarter cup of scallions. To make the coleslaw, we need one and a quarter cup of mayonnaise, a third cup of sugar, a quarter cup of cider vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of cel celery seed, half a teaspoon of Creole seasoning. We need a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, a head of red cabbage, or if you want to, you could do half a head of red cabbage and half a head of green cabbage. I'm just making it all red cabbage today. We need one cup of shredded carrots and three scallions. That's it, that's everything we need. So let's get cooking. To prepare the pork, combine the salt, pepper, paprika, sugar, onion powder, and garlic powder together in a small bowl. Rub the tenderloin with the spice mixture. Combine the seasoned pork, onion, apple juice, and apple cider vinegar in a slow cooker. Okay. 
cover and cook on high for four to four and a half hours. To prepare the coleslaw, whisk together the mayonnaise, sugar, cider vinegar, celery seed, Creole seasoning, and black pepper in a large bowl. Toss well to combine. Using two forks, shred the pork in the slow cooker. barbecue sauce, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, and scallions. Cover and cook for an additional 30 minutes or until the sauce thickens. All right, here is our finished product. You don't have to put coleslaw on the sandwich. You can put it on the side. I don't know if this is just like a Pittsburgh thing or if Yen's like this too. I don't know. We always put it on top of it just because it's what we're used to. So if you try this recipe, let me know down in the comments below. I just have our sandwiches on Hawaiian rolls, but you are able to use any kind of bread of choice, or you can just eat it on a plate. You don't even have to turn these into sandwiches. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed the recipe, and I will see you guys in the next cooking video.